Chaitanyam, the knower of the Chaitra in you, the one in you that knows your body, experiences the body, that experience, ah, Chaitanyam Chabi Maam Vidhi. Please understand, that Chaitanya is me. Chaitanya is in me. I know the body. The knower of the body is Lord. <laughs> Lord, you are right. Because I had always a feeling that I am special. Everyone. But I did not know that I am you. That was a, there was a little doubt. Now the doubt is ended. Why? You said that. Kshetra Nyanjabi Mahamiti, you know where the Kshetra is me. So yeah, but the student feels you now very well. Why? I am a Brahman and the Lord now gives me the certificate. What? The Kshetra is divine. I know now God. Who is God? He who is knowing. My God. But your wife also knows your body. No, no, no. Who is in me? Who knows all about my body? Chetratyan Jabi Maam Vidhi. Understand that Chetratya is me. And his bubble of vanity increases. Krishna pricks it. The bubble gone. Why? Sarva Chetra Shubharata. Not in your bosom only. In all living beings. From unicellular organism onwards, in all plants and animals and birds and human beings, in all living beings, the touch of life, the consciousness that knows its body is me. Oh, that is a general I see. <laughs> you see? Now suddenly he becomes Chetrachan Jabi Mambiti. Sarva Chetra Shubhara. In all Chetras, I am the common vitality, touch of life in all uh, forms. And now, each one is Chetra plus Chetra. Naturally, therefore, Chetra, Chetra your Jnana. If you can clearly understand what constitutes Chetra and Chetra and discriminate and this the Chetra from Chetra Yetadnyanam thereby whatever the experience that comes to you the knowledge, direct knowledge that comes to you Mata Mama I consider that is the saving knowledge the others are not knowledge, they are only inflammation. I know physics, I know chemistry, I know zoology, botany. What do you know? Some data, some information. Research scholars, what do you know? Some bits of information. This information has been misunderstood as knowledge. Krishna here says, knowledge that saves you that unfolds your possibilities and capacity. You are no more a limited entity. You discover a larger existence. That which saves you from every imperfection that you are now living through. I consider the direct knowledge that arises out of the analysis, investigation, inquiry, and discovery of the Chaitanya, separate from the Chaitanya, filtering away the Chaitanya from the Chaitanya, undressing the Chaitanya and seeing him in its utter naked beauty and glory. 
this direct experience or knowledge is a saving knowledge that saves you from all your state of imperfection fear and tragedies that you are now suffering as you know mm. ten people are coming in front they are talking each other laughing and there are ten people a group is coming your teacher and you are there suddenly the teacher says to you hey brahmachari come here go and give this message and he gives privately give this message to mr ram rao and the student being very devoted he is ready to do it he runs but as he was trying to run to do the job that the, the teacher has given him, he comes back sir i don't know ram rao who is ram rao i know see oh ram rao is very easy to recognize he is short about 4 and 1/2 to 5 feet 4 and 1/2 is very thick in the middle he has got a flowing mustache and he is ah he is completely bald headed and he has constantly pan in his mouth and therefore the mouth is always full that is therefore don't cut a joke standing in front of him <laughs> cut the joke from behind him and see the laundry charges of all people in front of him is increasing <laughs> ah now description all about the chatra has been explained isn't it so you can find it you go there how do you then find out ramara all people with hair rejected not this not this not this then you saw a man a suspicion of hair but he is a thin tall fellow reject all tall fellows rejected you are very vision he is at 4 and 1/2 feet <laughs> then you saw a short fellow coming forward walking round and round at a strangely coming forward When the belly is on the left side, he is turning to the right, and then on the right, no belly. He is moving about. Aya, that is Ramra. So you go behind him and whisper, <laughs> whisper in his ears. The Swami said this. He turns to you, and you run behind him again <laughs> because he may talk. He doesn't talk. Such people never talk. <laughs> you understand now when das in the midst of the chatra who is chatra i shall explain thereafter it is very easy for you to reject the chatra and contemplate upon the chatra and recognize 